Hello, my name is Samuel Chua, a journalist from Free Malaysia Today. As we all know, there's nothing like consuming fresh produce straight from the farm. And that's why we're out here in Malacca today at Yoshi Agoke to learn about the process from farm to table and the invaluable role played by the Federal Agriculture Marketing Authority in helping to facilitate this process for farmers. With me is Yogesh, the owner of the farm and a gracious host who was kind enough to give a little background about the farm and its operations. Hey Yogas. Hi, my name is Yogas. I'm 37. I started farming uh, eight years ago. The main items which is the crop that I'm uh, planting is uh, bendy, uh, leafy vegetables like chilli, cucumber, eggplant and so on. Uh, I have started it with my two acres first and then I expand it to like eight acres uh, in Malacca. Uh, then I, once for, once harvests are done, I send my items, uh, vegetable to farmer for sales uh, because they are the ones who buy the vegetable from us, like farmers. Yogesh says in order for farmer to buy vegetables from farmers, a forward agreement has to be signed which helps facilitate the purchase and supply of products based on mutually agreed terms and conditions. The agreement allows farmer to help farmers transport all crops to local markets, thus ensuring that all produce from the farm is guaranteed to be sold. Okay, under the agreement, a farmer will appoint an uh, anchor uh, like me uh, and then the anchor will buy the products and uh, vegetables from the small farmers and then the anchors will uh, sell, their, uh, sell their items to market and uh, other places. So in that way, uh, small farmers and the anchors, they have a good relationship so that for their uh, smooth operations. Now it is time to see how these crops are planted and harvested with the help from Yogis. Let's go! On this farm, Yogis focuses on commercial farming where he plants crops of okras by using soil. Under the blazing hot sun, Yogis says it is now time to harvest some crops. Okay, for the lady's finger plant, he has to be at least 4 feet uh, tall and then he has to be more than 50 days because on the 50th day, it is the maturity day to harvest the uh, been, uh, what a uh, lady's finger. So once the size of the lady's finger is more than five inch, we started to cut from the stem. So just cut like this, and then just put in the basket. One basket uh, estimated around approximately around uh, 35 kilo. Despite all the hard work, Yoga says farming today is not like the old days as it has gone high tech. Okay, we now have uh, IoT system. IoT means Internet of Things where we can control our water and fertilizer systems uh, through phone in the apps just uh, right away from our home even from my couch uh, so in the apps we can control our farm by giving uh, water uh, fertilizer and then uh, we can check the moisture level of our uh, plants and then the temperature of the weather after collecting all the crops that have been harvested, it is time to transport them from the farm to the collection centre. Farmer provides grants to farmers to build their own collection centre, whether it is permanent or temporary. Once we arrive at the collection centre, which is known as Pusat Pumpungan Ladang, uh, we do the grading according to the sizes and texture. Uh, if you see, uh, we have uh, two grades, which is uh, grade premium and grade one. The straight and nice one will be the great premium and the curvy one will be the great uh, one. I have a partner which is they call it, we call it uh, Rakan Komasa, Contract Komasaran. Uh, he also supply his uh, chili and uh, other commodities to our Pusat Pung Pranada. This process usually takes around 15 minutes before all vegetables are transported to the trucks provided by farmer. After a 30-minute journey from the collection centre, we have now arrived at one of the retail markets, Agro Bazaar Rakyat, which belongs to Amir Fresh Mart, where all the vegetables which were harvested are now being sold at this store. The purpose of Agro Bazaar Kedai Rakyat is for people to buy and sell agriculture products cultivated by small farmers. Saiful A. Rahman, owner of Amir Fresh Mart, says he is glad that his supermarket is able to help small farmers. Berbagai faedah yang kita dapat uh, daripada program Farma ini, antaranya kita dapat uh, harga sayur yang terus daripada ladang yang mana kita dapat menjual uh, harga di pasaran dengan harga yang lebih murah. 
Deputy Director of Pharma Malacca, Amir Aslan Jamil, says by eliminating a middleman, farmers can sell their product at an affordable price. He elaborates. Agro Bazaar Rakyat juga berfungsi bagi menghalang lapisan orang tengah mengeksportasi pasaran runcit di negara kita dan juga ia bagi membantu para pengguna untuk membeli secara dengan harga yang lebih rendah dan juga untuk mengurangkan kos sehari hidup para pengguna. Amir Freshmart berfungsi sebagai sebagai outlet menjual barangan terus kepada para pengguna dan seperti Cik Yogi Suara juga menghantar produk-produk pertanian. Customer Muhammad Azing Haika Rafi urges Malaysians to always support small farmers. Antara tempat membeli kesukaan saya adalah di Amir Freshmart uh, kerana di sini kita disajikan dengan antara barang, bahan-bahan mentah yang sangat segar uh, di mana saya dapat tahu barang-barang segar tersebut diambil daripada pekebun-pekebun tempatan uh, pada pendapat saya untuk kita support uh, petani-petani yang berada di Malaysia terutamanya petani-petani kecil uh, saya akan jadikan pusat daripada lain ini seperti Amir Freshmart ini menjadi keutamanlah untuk kita membantu orang-orang yang petani-petani yang agak kecil seperti yang ada di Malaysia ini. Aside from helping farmers to sell their products to local markets, Pharma also helps them process their products and export them to other countries. To date, Pharma has established a total of 12 frozen fruits and 4 food processing centers. At the frozen food processing center, various fruits are processed into frozen products and minimally processed foods such as durian, jackfruit, corn, champadak and mango amongst others. The Pharma Food Processing Center help farmers who do not have a factory produce branded food products of quality and that comply with food legislations that meet market requirements. From these processing centers, the products are shipped to other countries such as China and Australia for consumption. That in essence is how farmers are able to leverage on farmers support and guidance in seeing their fresh and nutritious products move from farm to table.